Tonight, a frigid blast plunging nearly 100 million Americans into a deep freeze and even spawning rare winter tornadoes. New images from Sawyerville, Alabama, capturing homes shredded from an afternoon twister. Very scary. The tornado part of a system stretching from Texas to New England, dumping snow and freezing rain. We were doing 35 and sliding, had to call it. I see conditions behind this Illinois pileup, with jackknife semis blocking traffic for hours. Nationwide, 5,000 flights canceled today. In Texas, the subfreezing temps also dishing out a major test for the state's power grid, crippled during last year's storm that left more than 200 people dead. We are dealing with one of the most significant icing events that we've had in the state of Texas uh, in at least several decades. The Texas electric grid is the most reliable and resilient that it's ever been. Officials say winterized plants and extra reserves are keeping the grid intact, but icy buildup on trees and power lines is causing local outages for thousands. Oh no, not again. That was my first instinct. Uh, Marlon Richardson still has power for now, but last year spent four days huddled in a sleeping bag with little food or water. Where did last year's storm leave you? <laughs> with a new mindset to be prepared the next time. The real test will come Friday, when demand for electricity is expected to peak. NBC meteorologist Bill Karens explains what's still to come. The highest energy demand in Texas will be tomorrow morning with temperatures in the teens. Watch out overnight ice in Kentucky and tomorrow morning in central New England. As far as the snow, northern New England could get up to a foot overnight. And even in winter-hardy Massachusetts, multiple cities are already shutting down schools Friday as this storm now plows its way north. And Morgan, I know Texas is getting a bit of a break from the snow and ice, but the storm still posing a threat there. Yeah, Lester, it is. These temperatures only expected to drop overnight before that peak demand Friday morning. The wind chill in Amarillo expected to hit as low as negative 16. Meanwhile, we've learned that in Alabama, that tornado has proven to be deadly, with authorities confirming at least one person killed when it struck this afternoon. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.